Hi, there are some questions that permanently repeat on the hotline. Today I have selected three typical questions to IDEA Statica modeling, which I want to show you today on three different models and how to deal with it. My name is Ivan Beles and I am support engineer for SCIA Engineer and IDEA Statica. So we are at Idea Statica and I start the first model. And this is the connection which I got this week uh, from a customer, but it repeats permanently. So first I create some small model. I select an HEA 300, my typical cross section, <laughs> sorry for it. So I rotate it vertically and then two horizontal members on the top of this column. So make a copy of them, zero, and make a copy of them, right mouse button, copy and rotate around 180 degree. Okay. I want to connect them so that they sit on this column. So there is a head plate, very simple connection. So small loads, uh, I will define 10 and 10 kilonewton meters bending moment. So this is only an example. I select a new operation, head plate, 8.8, M16, this is okay. Then I connect the column to this plate, so change the dimensions. I make it a little bit wider, maybe top, maybe 100 millimeter, 100 millimeter and the bottom and zero on the sides, 20 millimeters, that's okay. And change from left to, for example, minus 50 is okay. From right, minus 50. From top, let's say I'm all 50. How does it look like? This is not bad. My, uh, this is 50 and maybe minus 120 is okay. 50 and minus 120 on the optical. So looks everything great and run the calculation. So then you get some error message. Bolts are too close to plate edge outside of the or outside of the connected plate. M2 manufacturing operation. What does it mean? M2. I have connected M1 to M3 uh, to to uh, sorry. M1 to M2, M1 and M2 is connected. But these bolts are placed in M3. So the M2 is finished here, but I continue with the bolts outside of M2. So, so they are not connected to M3. They are optically there because uh, the height or, or length of these bolts is uh, adapted to these two plates. So they have the same, same, same thickness, but they ignore this bottom flange of M3. So what we have to do is to go to the bottom layers, uh, completely deleted. So we have only on one side and add new operation bolts. My bolts will connect this EP1 and M3. So I connect EP1 and member M3 bottom flange. So let's set it to zero, top view transparent, change a little bit the position, rows, I don't know, 80? No, <laughs> the opposite side, minus 75, okay, and one and minus 120, okay, and here, I don't know, 80, no, 90, 100, 100 is okay, minus 200. So now I have bolts, they connect this plate with this bottom plunge. The Head plate connection connects only this plate with the bottom flange of M2 because it's defined M1 with M2. Now, if we run the calculation, we get some error message. Maybe, yes, it's not connected on the top. So we have to connect it also on the top with some, some, uh, this splice. Mm -hmm. So what do we connect it? M2 top flange with M3. So. No, it's okay. 14. It's a little bit uh, bad <laughs> definition. 
so let's say longitudinal uh, let's say 50 times 2 is okay the b1 150 150 and here let's say what happened with zero okay uh, 100 and minus 200 okay now we have the connection so it's okay now we can calculate again if you want you can check the results for example the stresses strains and so on both forces so whatever you want okay that was the first one second one i start again with some empty connection second one i have the column and a member also on the top of this member so first create a column minus 90 then create a member with zero so and i want to use also first i define some some load for m2 10 kilonewton meters i want to use uh, this operation stub so but what does the people do at the f as a first operation they cut the member so okay i repeat it i will cut the m1 with m2 it's okay it's a little bit short but doesn't matter it works new operation is my stub okay i want to connect m2 to m1 and uh, maybe that change the thickness that's okay so i i don't care about this dimension maybe minus 50 or minus 60 from bottom minus 60 okay and minus 50 minus 50 to have it a little bit better Okay, now I can extend the stub. So I cut the stub on the column with the father. Okay, looks great. I cut it firstly. It's on the top. I could add some, some end plate, but it doesn't matter. Run the calculation. And then we get singularity. Why was everything connected? Because be connected with the cut m1 this is the column it's still there with m2 at at this operation the m2 was really there so i could cut with m2 and there are also welds which connect these two objects but after i create the stub and we look from the front the m2 finish here and we we created this cut and we need some welds, but M2 is not there. So we have to cut with stub and not with M2. But we cannot select here that we cut by stub because stub is one row later. So the operations will be processed in chronological order. So this operation is not existing here. So what we have to do is simply copy the cut, deactivate, and cut with the stub and then it will work so do this cut operation after you have this stub already defined and then it will work so the operations are processed from top to bottom and uh, you have to carry about it if you cut something where you had previously some operation that this operation cannot be uh, processed because there is this member not present the last one is a small tip this is not an issue but this is a question the people ask it uh, often to create a double head plate so column and beam connection with double head plate for example you got a member it's too short and you want to fill this gap with some some plate it, it happened hmm? so i create again some column again some member and i want to add here from the front i want to add here two head plates so a simple connection we have this head so i create some load uh 10 kilonewton meter there is one nice cooperation head plate but this head plate is only one and it connects the member with the with the column so this will not help me so I will use my favorite operation in Idea Statica. This is this stiffening plate, how it's German, stiffening plate. It's a plate which you can place everywhere in your model. So if 
if all these operations don't give you your desired result, then you can reduce and you can run everything with this plate, some stiffening member, cutting of plate, cutting of member, bolts and welds, and with these few operations you can do everything. So, a plate. This plate can be placed manually everywhere, but I am a lazy man. I want the uh, idea statica will do it automatically. So I want to have it as a doubler of this flange. So place is on the oh, not on plate on member on M1 on top flange. This is not a rib; it's a doubler. And then you have to change the front or, or rear position, change the thickness to 20, oh, 20 millimeters, deactivate the welds. So and we have to change the size uh, 150 150 150 this will be this will work okay now i can apply this head plate connection and connect this uh, member or or create some head plate on this member okay i will do it new operation end plate m m2 is connected to a plate to my SP1. But you see, it's a little bit too much bolts, but if you look at it, that I connect M2, that's correct, my new plate, with this SP1, but not with this, uh, with the column. So what we have to do, you can firstly delete everything in the rows where you have the bolt distances then no bolts will be, will be placed. So this is the one possibility. But I think more elegant possibility is to switch to welded connection, but I don't want to have the welds between the between the plates. Yes, this is this one. And uh, change it to 20 millimeters. So I have two plates. Top zero, zero, no. Five, five, zero, zero. How does it look like? It's okay. So now I have the connection. I would extend the column M1 to M2, but not on the closer line, on the farther line. And now I can create the bolts. But the bolts don't connect two objects. They have to connect three objects. Three objects. And I want to connect uh, the EP1. So you can look here if you are re really new. And if you hover the mouse over some element, then you see the name. This is the EP1. Or you can activate the names here, but I don't do it. So, so we have we connect the EP1 with uh, SP1. So if you are lazy to look, you can click on this uh, arrow and then select the plate. And then the member, this is the M1 bottom flange. And now we have the bolts. So if we go to transparent, we will see the bolts and they connect all three objects. So I place it in the middle, look from this side and change the dimensions. I don't know, 100, what does it? No, 85 minus 170. Okay, horizontal 80, it's okay. Minus 160, so, and now I have everything. I could add some stiffness to the column, but this will work. Run the calculation, check if everything is okay. And you can again look at stresses, bolts, and and all these check bolts, welds, and so you can you can do all this, all these checks. So you can increase the deformations, and then you see that everything works perfect. Okay, that's all. It was short. I wanted to save your time. Maybe if you start with Idea Statica. Thank you very much.